Hey, I'm um, drinking Hold On to Sunshine, one of the most fun labels from Treehouse. But this is the version with extra peanut butter. Just released January of 2024. I think it also says there's, yeah, there's extra cacao too. And it's 7.6% alcohol. Coffee milk stout is what it says here, but it's that, but then it has peanut butter and chocolate and more than they usually add to it, I guess. Um, contains peanuts. This is not one of those ones that, or like a, a lot of peanut stouts these days, or peanut butter stouts these days, just use a, a flavoring that can be actually really good and also be um, safe for people with peanut allergies. But I don't know how many people out there have peanut allergies and uh, but like the taste of peanut butter. Probably some. Whoa, that's kind of splattered when I opened it. Surprising. Um, so I had one can of this and I was surprised. Like I got it because it's just, I don't know, it's like whatever, I'll give it a try. It's gonna be fun in some way probably. But if you pour it nice and hard, you can see it's like real thick. It develops this intense head. Not exactly nitro. Um, and the bubbles are popping pretty fast, but they're not, it's not so l loose and light and bubbly and it developed a pretty good head that it kind of sticks around a bit. Um, even if it's not, you know, top tier treehouse milk stout head, their stouts used to have way better heads and feel, <clears throat> but this one was pretty good. And it's, it smells, more peanut than peanut butter. It's it smells like has a really nice roasted sort of smell. Roasted peanuts. Maybe that also comes from the use of coffee and all the dark malts and cacao. I think that's it. Just coffee, lactose, chocolate, and peanut butter, which is a lot. It's you could definitely call it a pastry stout. And that smells really good. The coffee is, I don't know if I'd say it's lost or if it just blends in with the roastiness. Like that's maybe why I'm, I'm getting this delicious roasty, roasted peanut thing especially. That seems like it's better than any peanut I've ever had or any peanut butter is because it has the chocolate and, or especially the coffee. But peanut butter dominates, I would say. And we've still got a little bit of head going on. And like on the top, there are some fine bubbles in there. If you see fine bubbles, you usually can have a fine, creamy feel. Still popping though. Whew. I wonder if this should have been colder. A lot of people say with stout, so you gotta make them room temperature. Maybe for like, if you're looking for a, a strong, complex, Stout experience. This one, it's 7.6, not that that strong, but it's more, it's more of a novelty type thing, I would say. <laughs> Pretty big mouthfeel. I feel like my other can was better. And it just, it kept a little bit more head. This also is, I found these wide glasses, sometimes they aren't as good for head. And I thought this was clean, but now it's looking a little dirty on the bottom. If your glass is a little dirty, it's going to kill the head, affect the car make the carbonation die a little faster. Well, that is thick for 7.6. And somehow it's not crazy sweet. I guess in the finish it's got all the sweetness, but it's, it's a good amount of bitterness. It's a lot of dark chocolate type tannic bitterness to help deal with all that stuff. Um, yeah, I get a lot more chocolate, coffee, sweet, complex, mocha type flavors <clears throat> than were the smell that was just so intensely um, peanutty. And see how it slowly develops that head? Oh yeah, we got the two-toned head. That's that's what I like. See how it's dark or lighter on top? Oh no. It's focusing in a way I don't want it to. There you go.
Yeah, if that head were just a little bit richer, creamier, a less bubbly in the feel, it'd be fantastic. I love the flavor and the body to it. But yeah, I'm looking at it and there are all these like bubbles coming up through it. It's just like with these super <clears throat> thick flavored beers, I think they add extra carbonation so they don't seem flat because it just carbonation struggles to get through. Um, and I'm feeling it in my stomach already too. But quite big feel, but just a little bit bubbly. But there's a lot of high quality chocolate and coffee in here. And I wonder exactly how they use the peanuts. It just says extra gobs of peanut butter. So I guess they just use peanut butter. Um, not peanuts. It doesn't have an oily, it's not, it's not like this fat from the peanut butter. I think that's over the years of breweries experimenting with peanut butter. Some have literally ended up with oil, fat oil in your beard. And you don't want that. That messes with everything. <clears throat> yeah, I wonder if it's just that this glass and I don't know, it probably doesn't have to do with much age. Like this is, this beer is over a month old. Um, I don't know if that's making it worse than the first can I had. Probably not. It still tastes great, but I would not age these much than a few more months. I just wish you were a little bit more silky and smooth. It gets a, a good amount of bitterness in there. Not off-putting, like no weird flavorings, no medicinal, no gross stuff happening. Just, they can't nail the uh, the feel like every, every oak treehouse used to be. If you look at my old treehouse stouts from five plus years ago, or my old trio stout reviews from five plus years ago. The feel was always better. But this one's real fun. Um, probably give it... It's hard to rate these ones where... It's just really the carbon feel. <clears throat> That's what I talk about with so many of my reviews these days. Carbon feel has a lot to do with making something a masterpiece beer. I guess I just won't rate this one. But I've never had any beer that was this chocolate peanut buttery, peanut butter cuppy ever. And it's better quality peanut and chocolate flavor than a Reese's peanut butter cup. It's, it's great. And that they do it at 7.6% is great. So bye bye.